yes hello and welcome back g-man here today i am going to be showing you how to get massively fat bass sounds that will rival the fast vintage bass synthesizer out there including the mini moog the arp odyssey anything that throws out what you think is a fat bass line i'm gonna be showing you how to do this on the euro rack you don't have to have a Euro rack to do this kind of thing. You can use it on most any synthesizer that likely will have more than one or two uh, oscillators. The more oscillators you can throw at this, the better. So you'll need to start with a good quality filter. I'm using a four pole low pass filter. It's my Tonus VCF module. It's a clone of the ARP 2600. It's a ladder diode filter, kind of loosely based on the Moog filter. So yeah, it helps to have a good filter to start with your bases. Let's see what it sounds like with the filter all the way up. First, I'm going to show you what my first source of sound is. It's the synthesizer box. And it has sawtooth, it has a triangle, and it has pulse width and I even throw in a sub oscillator just for good measure. My other sound source is a DNA symbiotic waves. Let me turn on just the symbiotic waves. Sawtooth and a sub oscillator and I've got some detune going between those. So it sounds fat pretty much by itself, but you add in the Pittsburgh synthesizer box and you just get this giant, fat swarm of oscillators. Now the other key to the sound that I'm getting right now is the Basil Skis. Basil Skis is a VCA slash DK envelope. It's really, really punchy. So let's run the module through it. So the same decay envelope is controlling my filter and it is controlling the amplitude of the output at the same time. I also can add in some keyboard roll off. Now I don't yet have the pitch plugged into it, but here we go. Now I can run my pitch out to an inverter and the inverter can be sent to the filter so that at higher notes the frequency will decrease but down at the bass range it still has full it still has more frequency now with this sound I'll decrease my frequency a little bit and instead of Using the keyboard to control the cutoff, I'll use an LFO. And I'll turn up the resonance as well. Now on this last sound, I'm using the onboard envelopes of my Pittsburgh synthesizer box to control the cutoff of the frequency but it allows you to sweep in an attack and it also allows you to hold a note much longer 